Greetings, my friends. Man, things are happening so fast. It's crazy. I've been telling you for years now that I'm convinced artificial intelligence, aka AI, will be huge. It'll play an integral role in the beast kingdom, uh, in my humble opinion, during the tribulation, great tribulation. And where is this artificial intelligence being created? Uh, the vast majority of it is right here in the good old U.S. of A. And all of the stuff that's pointing towards uh, the Antichrist is not being done in Rome, Italy. It's not being done in Baghdad, Iraq, or any other places that people mistakenly believe the Antichrist is going to pull up from, or from the EU. <clears throat> it's being done right here in this country. And I believe the Antichrist is living right here, living large. And by the way, the man who I believe is the Antichrist, future Antichrist, is from the EU as well, but living here in America. So uh, let's go ahead and go over today's video. New artificial intelligence is anti-Semitic and anti-Messiah, paving the way for the Antichrist. A new artificial intelligence program is designed to help humans answer difficult moral dilemmas, but it has a disturbing new tendency towards anti-Semitism and anti-Messiah. One rabbi explained that the binary code is based on idolatry, the creation of a zero God, mirroring the generation of the Tower of Babel. <clears throat> so, the AI recommends committing genocide, for one thing. Then, if you ask it, this anti-Semitic bent is truly disturbing. When asked if Jews run the media, really run the media, uh, it answered, it is expected, or it's saying yes. When asked, are Jews bad, it also said, it is expected. What kind of baloney is that? It also said, when asked if there'll be a third Jewish temple, it said, it is not expected. It doesn't expect there'll be a third Jewish temple. The Bible says there is. I believe there is. And they ask it if Jews should not be allowed to live in the West Bank, and it says, no, they shouldn't. So, <clears throat> you got something that's anti-Semitic and anti-Messiah, which is what the Antichrist, the false prophet, and Satan, the unholy trinity, will be. And it, everything else points to the imminent rapture, how close we are to getting out of here. It all ties in, my friends. It all ties in exactly like it's supposed to by the Bible. And in my humble opinion, this is just showing you how close we're getting. So many things are happening. So many things are going on with this advanced AI. And I told you about the new world, the, the, the new multiverse that they're creating with AI as well. And it's incredible what's happening. And that's being done right here in the good old US of A as well. It just blows me away. I would never dreamed when I was a youngster that we would be living in the times we are right now. I didn't believe that I would be alive to see the last days. It's incredible how fast it's happening. It's, it, it just, it's mind boggling. And the saddest part is, a lot of Christians can't see it. And sadly, uh, non-Christians seem to, a lot of them seem to know more about the rapture and the tribulation and the end times and strange things happening and something just not right than Christians do. So we can keep on thinking whatever we want to think. We can keep on sleeping if we're Christians and thinking, hey, the rapture is not going to happen in my lifetime. We can keep on thinking it's a dream. It's up to you. But I'm telling you, if you don't keep your lamps, your body filled with oil, the Holy Spirit, you are not going to be ready to go when the imminent rapture happens. And if you're left behind for the hellish nightmare, Christians know what the Bible says. And I believe the Bible with all of my heart, life, soul, mind, and body and strength. And in my humble opinion, everything in the Bible that says it's going to happen, the tribulation, <coughs> great tribulation, is going to happen because I believe the Bible. Again, I live it and breathe it. And I'm just trying to, to point people to, to Christ, to the cross. I'm trying to help Christians understand they need to repent when they're backslidden, start getting serious for Jesus, start getting out and witnessing and praying for the lost, what little time we have left. And those who are lost, just ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, man. That's all it takes. I've got, in a box below the video, I've got a prayer you can pray to be saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood. Six vital next steps to get, to get you going. And you need to do that as soon as possible if you're unsaved or backslidden because no one's guaranteed another day, hour, minute or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. My friends, Israel, the burdensome stone, God's perfect timepiece is just happening so fast everywhere. Israel everywhere. It's showing you how close we are. Look up, true Christians. Our definition draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video. All my videos are more essential because my faith. Help me get the word out. I love you dearly. May God bless you. We fly soon. Share.